body, the famous one, and the secret cell. Her books enhance his early childhood dreams. And it blinds language structure attracted me to more of her books. The little grammar is a hard telling story of a boy named Tony and his very dead granddad. He is a great, Tony is a great boy because he has lots of imagination and a kind heart. Tony was very fond of bed. He had four toy beds, but he really wanted a nice one. He liked their plum nuts, blood nuts, and their little ears. He knew that nobody gave him. One night before the Christmas Eve, he wrote a letter to Santa Claus about his wish. He put it up on the chimney. Then he told his mother, but she made fun of him. The next morning, he woke up with great expectation, but nothing happened. The day after Christmas, he went to the wooden shed by following the footprints. He went inside the shed and checked what is it. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. There was a little furry brown bear. Yes, it was a little furry brown bear. Tony named him Grunty. And he gave him food and water. And he growled and grunted and chased him. He didn't inform his mother. He played with Grunty every day. He tried to hug him hard. And Grunty tried to hug him back. Tony took some of his Christmas money and bought six buns every day. One day, his mother went to the baker shop and brought biscuits. And Baker told him that Tony was very fond of buns and he would buy six buns every day. Then she got confused that she knew that Tony was not fond of buns. Tony revealed everything to his mother and she, she made a query of the best and she came to know that Grunty escaped from the circus training place. Tony and Grunty were separated. Yet, Tony got an offer to visit Grunty and the other bears too. The story sketched the bonds of relationship between Tony and his pet bear Grunty. Tony treated Grunty with all his heart. By the end of the story, Blighton gives a message of love and compassion towards others for the festive season of Christmas.